Welcome to episode 4 on how to make a walk cycle. In my previous episodes I've shown you how to animate uh, a walk cycle, how to draw the walk cycle and how to include it in your slides but I did say I was going to show you some alternatives. Um, this alternative allows you to keep the transparency uh, of your frames when you're animating. The benefit of that is that if you've got any detail in the background you'll still be able to see those details uh, behind the, the legs and between the legs. So as you can see I'm animating each frame independently so that it appears and then disappears in sync with the, the next frame. And now I'm going to include it into one of my pre-made presentations um, which is a desert setting uh, drawn using auto shapes. I'll do a video on how to make one of these um, pretty soon. Now what I'm going to do is in, put it on the ground and click play and let's just see uh, how it works. So the slide moves across and the walk cycle begins and as you can see the transparency is maintained so it, it does have the desired effect. I've only included two loops of the walk cycle so if you wanted to include more you'd need more frames. Um, so more frames means a lot more work and a lot more animation and it can slow the presentation down having that much um, detail in a presentation. Here's another um, attempt at the same thing using a spooky Halloween style uh, background. Now I wanted to show you in contrast what that would look like if I used one of my pre-made video um, animations. Now because video cannot support transparency you can't see anything through the background so it's not a very effective technique. Um, another popular technique is to allow each frame to be just a little bit in front of each other so that it gives the impression that the animation is walking forwards. So what you need to do is put each frame um, staggered and then when you animate them each one will appear and disappear giving the impression that it's moving forwards. If I was using the video technique I would just animate the video to move forwards and I'd also animate the video to play at the same time. Uh, this will be shown also in my episode 2 and 3 um, of this series. So check them out if, uh, if, if it's going to help. So let's have a look at what it looks like if I play this. It looks a little bit sketchy. I'd probably need twice as many frames to make this look um, effective. Um, now I wanted to show you a few other walk techniques I made. Some of them very complicated, some of them very simple. This one is made using just one slide and I've animated the legs to coordinate with each other so that it makes a completely um, effective animation, uh, maintaining transparency as well. So if I click play, okay and now let's see in presentation viewer, the animation um, is looped and it's, uh, it works in sync with each other but it's a very ineffective way of doing things. Now this is my uh, first attempt ever of making a walk cycle and it's ridiculous. It's, <laughs> it's not very practical but it's fun. Um, you might want to use it. Uh, as you can see I've just made a spinning, some spinning legs and layered them behind uh, the body. So I'm just going to deconstruct this animation so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and at the same time I'm going to sum up the different types of animations. Now my favourite is the video style of animating uh, because it's much more versatile. I showed it in my previous episodes, you can resize it, start and stop it as you like to make it um, very useful for making cartoons. Um, the, my least favourite is probably the one that shows the transparency but it does have its merits because you can see the detail in the background um, but it does take a lot more work um, and it's not as useful. Um, as you can see these two types of animation are good fun but uh, not very practical in, in terms of presenting information. Uh, I hope my videos have been useful to you, uh, if they're a bit too quick then let me know. Um, please leave comments below and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks very much, bye bye.